Hey everyone, this is Tamil, and in today's video, I'm going to be addressing some comments that I have in the comment section below of this video that I have right here that's called How to Create Clickable Links in Canva. So I've got some questions that people were asking in the comment section, more than just one or two questions, and usually I will just answer those questions in the comment section, but this time I felt the need to create another video so that I can address address how to apply clickable links to you know the images that you guys are creating so now one of the questions that I got in the comment section was do you have to have Canva Pro to create these hyperlinks and the answer to that is no you don't you don't have to have Canva Pro to be able to create uh, links for the images that you have. And one of the things that I'm going to do is I am going to link down in the description below this video, the page where you can go to see the difference between, you know, Canva Pro features versus the basic account features and other features that they have for um, other accounts. So if you guys want to know, you know, what's entailed in Canva Pro, does this apply to me? Because maybe you have a basic account and you want to know why you can't do certain things. I'm going to put a link down in the description so you guys can check out, you know, if you have the basic account, what all is it that you get in the basic account? So to answer that person's question, the answer to that is nope, you don't need Canva Pro for this. Now, I got another question here that asked, uh, there's no option to add a link um, like yours in the video, but there is an option to apply links. Now, I'm a little bit confused about the question. It kind of sounds like the same one, but um, there is an option to add links because I did a video on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you guys that again today in this video so that you know exactly where the link is. Now, Canva moves things around sometimes, but the option to do it is still there. And so um, sometimes they do some updates. So I'm going to show you guys that again today. Now, another question that I got um, here, it says, I just created a Facebook post and wanted to make it clickable, but Canva won't let me save as a PDF. You know, how do I make the post clickable? Now, that I'm going to show you right now because um, there may be a little bit confusion on what you can save in order to be able to have a clickable link. So let me show you that right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Facebook post, just, you know, just a regular social media post. I'm going to show you how you can create a, um, just a social media post, but I'm going to show you what you can do and what you can't do with it. So I'm going to use this image right here to show you guys how to create a clickable link. This is a Facebook post. Obviously you can use this image for anything, but I'm going to show you how this works. So let's call this, um, I'll just say happy. And then I will duplicate this a couple times. And then I will make it Valentine's. And then let me make this a little bit bigger. Then I'll make this bigger. Just call this Happy Valentine's Day. That way you can see exactly what's going on. So this is day. And then, and let's say that you thought that you could actually use this as a Facebook post. So let's say that you want to send someone to a different page and, and you want to use this as a post for Facebook. So I'm going to make, I'm going to copy this again. And then I'm going to say free giveaway. And I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. And this free giveaway right here will be the actual link. So let's say that you were creating this for Facebook and it was a happy Valentine's Day uh, post right here. And maybe you have, you know, some sort of free giveaway that you want to give. Maybe you own a business or something like that. So I'm going to show you how this is going to work. So up here to the right, right here, these three dots, this is where you're going to click so that you can get to the clickable links. 
Go ahead and click that. You'll see these two links right here linked together. You'll click that as well. And this is the space where you will put your address. So obviously you have to send people somewhere if you want them to click on a link that's within any type of document that you have. So I'm just going to put my blog URL right here. And you're going to notice that the minute I did that, now it's underlined. So that's how you know that this right here will be clickable. Now, if I go up here to the download, because we finished it, and I think I'm just going to name this example so that we know exactly what we're looking at, example one. I'm going to go up here, and I want to show you the difference between these. Now, this right here is a gift. We're not going to use the MP4, which is a video, and the SVG is for sharp vector uh, graphics at any size. So I'm just going to leave these alone right now, and I'm just going to speak on these right here. So let's save this as a PNG, because I think this is where everyone's getting confused. I'm going to save this as a PNG. I'm going to download it. And I'm going to address this uh, at the very end because I'm going to show you how to use these links right here. But once you open this, this is what you get. Now you can see up here to the left where it says PNG, and this is just a basic image. So your PNGs and your JPEGs are just basic images. And these are typically the images that you're allowed to upload to social media. But when I hover over free giveaway, you just see the arrow. What you should see is a little hand if it's a clickable link. So the only thing you're going to see is just the little arrow. So this is a PNG. You can upload this to, you know, social media, but no one will be able to click on it because you cannot embed a link inside of their posts. So you cannot click on any of these, none of these that are PNG that you're uploading to, you know, whether it's, you know, Instagram or Facebook or any of your social medias, it won't allow you to do it. So let me show you now how to do another one. So we already addressed the PNG, the JPEG actually works the same way. You can upload a JPEG to, you know, your social media accounts. These are the ones that you're allowed to upload. So once I open and click on this, as you can see right here to the left, this is a JPEG. Once I hover over free giveaway, it's still the arrow there. You can't click on it. So if they are PNGs, JPEGs, or any type of regular image, you can't click on any of this because you can't, you know, embed anything. So this is the JPEG. So now let me show you the PDFs. PDFs are going to be the only ones where you will be able to embed the links. So once we click on one of these, and you can do either or, I'm just going to do the PDF printables. Once I click on this, I'm going to show you where the links are. So now this is the PDF document. And in the PDF document only is where you will be able to see the links. So if I were to click on this, it should take me to my blog. And there it is right there. So it takes me directly to my blog. It is a link you can actually do. So that is how that's going to work. If you have any of the PDFs that you want to use, that's what you're going to do. So only the PDFs you will be able to add links into. So let's just do the standard. It's pretty much the close enough, the same thing almost. And you'll be able to see that with the standard, it works the same way. This is the standard PDF, and you can do the same here as well. So you can click on this standard and um, open up, and it takes me to whatever website that I want to go to. So if you are using any of these for social media, then it's, to, it's my suggestion that you just use the um, the JPEG and the PNG. That's the best thing to do. Uh, it's a plain image, but um, this is what they typically ask for you to upload. So that is how um, you can use a regular link for um, any of your images. You can use them to you know, promote different things like that. 
you know, for people to be able to, you know, click on. You can use any of those images from JPEGs to um, the PDFs. Now, this should address the other comment that I had in the comment section where someone said that the PDF won't post to IG. And that's because typically PDFs are not allowed to upload. I'm going to show you why. So I'm going to go right here to my file. You'll see right here in the this section right here where PDFs are actually documents you have to open. So you can easily tell that these are PNG and JPEGs, whereas a PDF, you have to click on them to, again to actually open the document. So social media, you want these that are already the image, not one that you have to, you know, click open to actually open it again. So these right here won't work for you, but these will. So next, I'm going to show you how you can share these images because if you're looking to post, you know, on social media or something like that, you can just use um, an actual link to this particular image and then people do not necessarily have to have uh, Canva to be able to do it. So let's go back to my home page right here and I'm going to show you how you can use a shareable link if you want to, you know, share this with someone on your social media. So I'm going to refresh this right here. I'm not quite sure if this will work or not. But it looks like, okay, it's not refreshing, but this is the example that I just gave you. So if you click the three dots right here, you're going to notice down here where it says get shareable link. So you can click on this and what's going to happen is it'll copy and it's the same thing that showed up once before but you can get that shareable link right there and you can share it elsewhere so i'm going to show you how this works i'm going to do it incognito and i'm going to copy well i copied it i'm going to paste it now right here and this is the actual image so if you posted that shareable link this is what would happen. Someone would get this right here. Now, if this is done correctly and you did this as a PDF, then they would be able to click on whatever your free giveaway is or whatever it is that you're doing. They will be able to click on that link. And as you can see right here, it's going to take me back to my blog. So it actually does work. So if you cannot get the image to, you know, have the clickable link, which you can't do with a JPEG or a PDF, you can still copy that clickable link and post that to your social media and people will be able to get the same exact image. So you can do that as well. Okay, and lastly, I got one other comment from someone saying that, you know, it seems like when they email, text, or post a PDF that the link doesn't work, it's not clickable, and that they're unable to use it. So I think I already addressed that um, already in this video that nine times out of ten, when and I have never seen it, but you pretty much can't use PDFs for, like, posts on your social media sites. You shouldn't have a problem... Um, emailing it to anyone. Um, I think the issue may you may have when emailing it or opening it is that you typically have to have some sort of app. So you either have to have the, you know, write on the PDF or you have to have the PDF drive viewer or the Handcomb office editor to be able to open up a PDF, you know, inside of an email. And as far as texting, I've never received a text that has a PDF uh, document in it. You, you usually can't do it. So I just wanted to address that. I've showed you guys how you can easily share it on social media by, you know, copying, sharing the link. Uh, Canva does offer that, have that on here. So you can easily do that and you can send it to anyone that you want. So guys, those are the comments that I had for this particular video on how to create, you know, clickable links you guys had in the comment section below. Hopefully I address everyone's questions. And uh, if you have any comments about this video, go ahead and drop those comments down in the comment section below. Thank you guys for checking out this video and I will see you on the next one.